This is a certified hood classic. My boys, yes, I'm back, man. Hey, look, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, it feels good to be back, man. It, it really does, man. I've, I've had a lot of stuff going on in the last month. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. But look, the good thing about it is I'm here. I, I'm, I'm blessed, man. Look, bro, your boy is 29. You know what I'm saying? I just had a birthday. Your boy is 29, so I'm, I'm back. I'm back, man. I'm back, man. Um, look, y'all, real, real quick, before we get started, man, we're getting ready to check out some family guy today. Look, y'all, y'all know what to do. Hit that Patreon link. It's in the description, man. It's only $3 a month, and you get access to full videos of South Park, Archer, man, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Super, man, you know, and so much more, man. So, look. Check that out. Link in the description. Without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> really, though? Really, Brian? I'll... What the fuck? This <laughs> nigga just... What the fuck wrong with you, boy? That letter from, uh, that letter from Capsule Corp. Take Stupid ass. Take this envelope to the refuse, madam. Oh, thank you, letter butler. Letter butler, okay. What's that? That wasn't about? weird. Oh, it's an invitation to my high school reunion. I went to the Fansington's Academy for Insufferable Girls. I forgot she rich as hell. She rich as hell, so I guess I... Guess I no, I don't understand a nigga hopping out a letter. Our mascot was a well-dressed woman who yells at valets. Nice. I'm sure you and Peter will have a great time. Uh... She don't want to take that. Nobody I ain't look. mad at her. This is a private gross matter. What the fuck? Is this nigga on? Right. Do people bring husbands to these things? You're not thinking of going without them, are you? Honestly, yeah. Brian, these girls the come from old money, so they can be pretty stuffy and judgmental. Well. Damn! <laughs> Just what the fuck? In the middle of a conversation, Brian. In the middle of a conversation. I'm still available. No, uh, no, we're good. I mean, well, I love eating some chicken myself, but I'm just saying that's, that's, that's weird. But the real outliers were the friends we made along the way. The end. Don't tell me she finna take oh, hey, Gwen. Wow, look at you reading a book, huh? Oh yeah, I read everything people leave on planes. I read the Da Vinci Code four times. And I'm not sure the sure. last time I've seen you in your uniform. You really clean up nice. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's nothing wrong with giving compliments to your friends. But it, when it's your husband friends or when it's your wife friends, I mean, it's, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with giving them a compliment. I'm just saying how you going about it. Like, all right, you don't want to take Peter to to the family uh, to, to the function, not family function, but to the high school reunion function, whatever. I get that. I understand that. But then you now you leaning on Quagmire. I just like just go by yourself, man. I swear people don't have no loyalty these days. That's what it is. Hey, Glenn, I have this class reunion coming up soon, and I thought maybe it'd be fun if, I don't know, you know, maybe the two of us went together? What about Peter? Oh, he hates those things. And football. Climate change? Well, that is a real problem. Hey, okay. here's a fun thought. What if you go and pretend to be my husband? Well, I'm oh. not used to wearing rings above the waist, but what the hell? I'll try anything <laughs> once. He is a little freak, man. That's a freaky ass dude, man. Where are you going, Mom? Shut the fuck up! Shut up! <laughs> when she went off. Oh, I'm just heading out for the weekend to visit the Museum of Dusty Vases. Why don't you just look at all the ones in this house? So what do we do for dinner? Like, pizza? No pizza. Okay, right. So like, pizza? No, Peter. Not pizza. Okay, right. Not pizza. So just, pizza? Okay, everyone, I stocked the fridge with healthy food. Your weight is a reflection on me, so no pizza. Oh, the pizza, now that's an idea. Peter, if you disobey me about the pizza, there will be consequences. So wait a minute, hold on. So you going out and, and you going to your high school reunion, you going with his friend behind his back, nobody telling him, and you wouldn't even get this nigga pizza, bro? Mom's out of town on, consequences, man. which according to the movies are the worst kind. Fine. But I'm gonna tweet mean stuff at celebrities that look vaguely like you. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck he say? Hey, idiot, brothers. Okay, I can't. I can't even read it. I can't read it that fast. You're going to that reunion, aren't you? Shh, keep your voice down. Yes, I'm going, but with Quagmire, not Peter. 
Glenn's gonna pretend to be my husband to impress them. She cares way too much what um the, what they think. Like, just go by yourself. You Say sure you that's a make... good idea? I mean, it's Quagmire. You know how he feels about you. Yeah, I know he's gonna yeah, try same and way sleep you feel, with me, bitch. but I'm a big girl and I can handle Quagmire. I'll be fine. But but nothing. Fetch. Oh, not cool, Lois. Very not cool. <laughs> she got his ass. All right, she's gone. Now, who wants pizza? They all just do shit behind each other's backs. No. Oh, no. No wife of mine carries her own bags. <clears throat> oh, my God, that's heavy. What's in these things? Well, we're here for two nights, so my hair dryer, my iron, my free weights, and I thought maybe if I had a minute, I'd roll a blade, my CPAP machine, and bedside table. Yeah, you're going to need one of them carts, bro. I instantly go for them carts. Not because I can't carry my own bags, but look, man, you're on vacation. Wow. There's a whole table in here? Travel Peloton, every robe I've ever owned, and my desktop computer. It's got my email on Lois, I have an umbilical hernia. They're on rollers. Oh. Okay, so I booked us a suite so that we can keep up the appearance of being married but still sleep in separate rooms. Like John Krasinski and Emily Blunt? Exactly. That's fucked up, man. They be throwing shots. They be taking all kinds of shots at people. I don't even know those people, but they be taking shots oh, at pizza them. man's here. Do I look okay? Huh? I know, that one has a mind of its own. What? Here's your pie. May I use your bathroom? Absolutely. We'll be out here eating pizza like we're in an 80s commercial. Smile in your family's oh my god. Y'all know I hate musicals, man. Shit. I don't know why I hate musicals either. It just I just don't like them. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the Somebody this about the is back. not the room I reserved. This is the honeymoon suite. Was that this is the honeymoon, comma, suite? Or like room? Oh, you're not going to get away with this. I am going to tweet mean stuff at celebrities that look vaguely like you. Oh, God. You got a big head and creep. <laughs> Where do you get off? On feet? What? Toe picks? Get your freaky ass off somewhere. That boy got freaky fast as hell, didn't well, he? <laughs> well, I had nothing to do with this. Then how did this happen? Well, I'm a platinum member at all the hotel chains, so they probably just saw my name and upgraded us. Well, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Well, no problem. Let me call the front desk and... What do you mean you don't know if you're comfortable? <laughs> like, I don't... I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. You should be like, no, we need to go and get what we said what we were going to get, or no, not at all. This, you see what I'm talking about, do you? Am I, am I wrong? Am I fucked up? Am I fucked up? I, I could have sworn, like, look, if my wife do some shit like this, she gonna be coming home to no home, bitch. <laughs> like, I, ain't, I ain't bullshitting with you. I ain't bullshitting. You gonna be coming home to no home. Are you, shit, I ain't gonna be in that motherfucker shit. What the fuck wrong with you? You can leave or something, bro. Because I'm just saying, bro, like, at the end of the day, I don't know if I'm okay with this. It should be a no-brainer. Like, nah, this ain't gonna work. So now we taking it too far. Type See shit. if they can switch us to a room with but two hey, beds. Whatever, man. Ah, right, yes. We were wondering if we might be able to switch rooms. Uh huh. I see. So just a windowless single with no water pressure. Now you know what? It's fine. We're already hmm. here. My wife says no. It's fine. We're already here. Oh, you heard that? Okay. Thanks anyway. But don't get any ideas because nothing Stop. is gonna happen between us. Shut up. You have nothing to worry about. I'll be more of a gentleman than John Wayne Bobbitt with his second wife. That nigga hey, ain't honey, shit, would man. you take out the trash? That's yes, your yeah, that's your absolutely. Boy. That's your boy's wife. <sighs> love it, love it. What else? Well, I have been dying to see that new Rebel Wilson movie. I hear she raps like a lot. <sighs> Let's just do this. Uh, said, damn, bro. He just is going to hand your dick over, man. What? Okay, we have to get rid of this body so your mom can't connect us with the pizza. Anybody got any ideas? We could put a okay. yarmulke on him and, and dump him into town square. Pretend it's a hate crime. Hush, come on. Where are we going to get a yarmulke? We should float him with balloons like an up. Then Shut. he's the sky's problem. Stop. Shut oh up, you stupid he got motherfucker. Brian, get it. I'm not fishing it out of his pants because I'm into chicks. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. This means there are still undelivered pizzas in his car. The restaurant's gonna know ours was the last one he dropped off before Damn. he disappeared. Yeah, so now they're gonna have to fuck around and drop out the rest of the pieces, man. They crazy. Oh my god, that means mom will find out. Which means we gotta deliver the rest of his pizzas, and we'll leave him and his car at the last stop. Well, if we're going in the car, that means I can take the iPad. Mom said. Shut up. It's funny, because I'll be doing that to my, my kid. I'll be like, here, man, just go ahead and take the iPad, because if they don't, they start tripping, bruh. They, they start tripping. All the parents out there know, you know. <laughs> get that iPad, get that tablet. Mm -hmm. Night to myself, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's showtime. Really 20 minutes to myself at the most. And then he, he clicks off on something else. Then I got to click back on it. It's, just, it's a mess. It's a fucking mess. Ladies, you're looking wealthy Ugh. tonight. I'd Big like you to meet my husband. We're married, hence ass. the rings. Enchanté. I'm a pilot and I read books. This is Madison Lexington Broadway. She runs a scholarship for underprivileged wasps who can only afford Cornell. <laughs> my father shoots elephants. And okay. Vivian Yacht Brunch. Your face is fat as fuck. Who sailed directly into the building from Turks and Caicos. What the fuck? A summer in Antibes and I winter in the spring. And of course, Scowly Titans. <laughs> that bitch didn't suck the lemon, didn't she? And daughter of both Henry Tite and Randolph Anus. We Ugh. were a clipping on the Jay Leno program. May Ugh. I say that you have the breasts of an obese woman and the arms of an anorexic? Oh! <gasps> Looking at this nigga got a Mario power up. If there's anybody that know women, it's definitely him though. That nigga just had his lips and spit all over that mug and you just took it away. Hey, this is a lot of fun for everybody. Do you mind if I upstage you at your job? Attention, everybody. This is your captain. I'm not going to turn on the fasten seatbelt sign. You guys can do whatever you want. Now I get it. I'm sorry I played your saxophone. <laughs> God, this car is depressing. Oh, He's shit. Got, got his ass, bro. Can you put on some music? There's no CD player. Just a disc man with a cassette plug-in. You ever heard of a band called Special Delivery? Oh, no, it's his band. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, they're all in uniforms. God bless them. Uh, dying on a stranger's <laughs> toilet seat is bad, but this is real bad. Dad, let's get Damn. back to the pizzas. Right. We deliver the pizzas and... Eat them. Nobody calls the police. Now, where's our first stop? The police station. Damn. <laughs> well, at least you fat as fuck. There are cameras everywhere. Yes, we they are. seen leaving those pizzas. But he can. Good thinking, Chris. All those in favor of Meg getting in the dead guy's clothes with him and scarecrowing him in, raise your hand. Man, shut up, you fat fuck. You know what you gotta do. He ain't stupid. You know what you gotta do. Put on that man outfit and walk your fat ass in there and drop them pizzas off. Fine, I'll do it. But only because I'm starved for human contact and he's not fully cold yet. If it isn't Georgie, my fourth best friend in the weirdly gray flesh. I haven't seen you since I ordered that calzone. Oh, hey, no. I hate to be the bearer of bad shoes, but your sneaker's untied. Fuck it. <sighs> <laughs> hey, I heard your guitar got stolen, so I swiped you a new one from the evidence locker. It used to belong to Mark. Man, get your helpful ass on, Joe. <laughs> Stupid ass. Don't you got some paperwork to do? Mm, Scrawly. Stupid Surprise ass, dude. Soulful balladeer. Okay, fine. You can play me a song to thank me. Bro, come on now. Mm, I'm hearing <laughs> a little Clapton mixed with hearing loss from going to the gun range too much. We're one short on the suspect <laughs> lineup. You know here, anyone bro. who could fill in? Well, the perpetrator was doing a highly choreographed routine during the assault. So, number three, please step forward and perform the zombie dance from Thriller. Oh, come on! Right. Five, six, seven, eight. 
she, her ass is strong to move his fat ass around and to keep doing it and stand up, man. Hey, shout out to Meg. Meg, you're a superstar. You're definitely a superstar. A rock star. Ugly ass. That was close. I'm glad to be done delivering to places that are too risky to walk a dead body into. What's next? The cadaver dog training facility. <laughs> Look at that. I couldn't even fit in that mug. I've oh. been waiting for you, Georgie. I haven't eaten all day. Well, bitch, you about to eat some of this meat. <sighs> we talked about this. I thought we were over this, guys. Why does it always zoom in on me when I want to say some freaky shit? Huh? I d Maybe I should start saying it in my head. What the fuck? It was y'all! Lupita guy's having a secret affair. Oh, to be single and dead again, huh, Chris? <laughs> a dead again? How did that Last even happen? How did that even happen? I ordered another pizza. <laughs> oh my Thank god, he is so tonight. stupid. Please take a compliment. <laughs> he is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. So they did that for for nothing, basically, Three bro. Three au pair. And of course, au pair is French for with jugs. Your husband oh, is remarkable. Tits. I am hereby changing his designation from charming to a triumph. Here, okay. here. Before you, the one who'd done the best in our group was Joan. She was married to a functioning alcoholic. All our husbands were Christmas suicides. Well, what can I say? I'm a lucky woman. What? By the way, Lois, when we get back to our room, you can choose the streaming service we watch tonight. Even Crackle? Yeah, <laughs> even Crackle. Oh. I had Crackle on my PSP, bro. I well, well, I did watch a lot of the early Naruto on Crackle. Okay, all right. Crackle gets a pass from me. I'm not watching it, but Crackle gets a pass from me. I watched a lot of Naruto oh, on that mug, bro. Great Come to think about tonight. it. I mean, when you got that standard ovation for comparing the shout out to Crackle, man. Shout out to Crackle. Date tax to the Holocaust. I felt like the bell of the ball. I really enjoyed spending time with you too. So, so he's a good guy. Let him down easy. When he goes for the kiss, just tell him that Roseburn. The actress I was trying to remember earlier, always good, but never a star. Okay, I'll text Bonnie about that later. That's crazy. I want you to meet the cocktail waitress I'm about to sleep with. What? <laughs> right? What the fuck do you think, Lo? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. These hoes ain't shit. I already know that. I don't know why I'm freaking. This is Jenna. You might remember her boobs from hovering over your shoulder while pouring wine. I know oh, yeah. I do. I, know that's I remember right. you. You're the lady who moved her chair four times because of the air conditioning and then asked the band if they could play a little quieter. Two maracas. We get it. You like to shake stuff, but don't upstage the entrees. Anyway, we're taking off Looking now. Ass. Enjoy Crackle. I, I can't believe this. Well, I, I guess I could always go down to the business center and get passively hit on by all the losers. You know what's crazy? That's And, and that's really what it is. She just wants to feel... She wants the attention. She was going to let him down, but the fact that he let her down hurt her ego so much that she has to go find other people to boost her ego back up. You know what I mean? That's all it is. That's some, you know, it's typical. That's typical shit. I ain't even going to say all that. It's right, just typical that's shit. that's one ticket. Fuck Economy it. Economy plus. <laughs> Checking bags. Several. Okay, and print. And time to go home. I'm not staying here. I just don't own a printer. Looking ass. Okay, fat ass. Somebody asked you. You fat fuck. That boy got a Gatorade. You know he put in work. Oh, look who decided to show up. Hey, Lois. That was some night. 
You'll be happy to know I was able to perform on a four-inch thick futon in front of three roommates. You know, the hotel sent champagne up for us last night. Oh, why didn't you send it to me and Jenna? Well, no sense wasting it. Ah. <sighs> Hey, did you end up working out in the morning like you said you were gonna? What was it? 40 <laughs> minutes cardio, then a Pilates class? Fuck no, nah, ain't nobody doing that shit. Did you do both of those? No, I didn't do both of those. So just one? I did neither of them. <laughs> Ouch. Well, thanks again for inviting me. This has been fun. First She's tea straight afterwards. mad. Whoa! <laughs> Lois, I'm using all the towels. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to use extra towels for no reason. I mean, they all should be washed regardless. Like, I don't know. If I I know they probably aren't, but like when I used to when I used to like so I used to clean Airbnbs and shit like a while back. It was a while back. And I'm like, I used to wash the extra towels and shit like that. Even if that even if they looked like they wasn't used, I still washed it. Because you never know, you know, some people just do little extra shit. You know, wipe wipe shit off, and I I don't know, bro. You know, just you know, you, the shit could dry. Like it's just I you know wash the extra towels that that look like they ain't been fucked with. It's just I don't know. That's a thing in me. I and just then I said, "Not today, geese," and I landed that passenger plane on the Hudson. As someone who didn't watch the news in 2009 and doesn't care for Tom Hanks films, that is the most riveting story <laughs> I've ever heard. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your brunch captain speaking. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, cause I'm making mimosas. I know that's Only right. Bumpy around here is that strained airplane metaphor. What is this? Oh. Mutters against drunk driving? Lois, have a drink. Ladies, I took the liberty of requesting Eddie. our meal be soy-free, meat-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, cage-free, carb-free, and food-free. What the fuck is you talking about, boy? What the hell is you eating air? Cruelty-free. And then I snuck you each a cinnamon bun because all oh. that other stuff's for Democrats. Oh, he is wonderful. Lois, where did you find him? Oh, you think he's so wonderful? Last night he screwed the cocktail waitress. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sorry, ladies. I have fuck? deceived you. So I'll just collect my free au pair. Oh. And one for my wife. And I'll be on my way. Okay, shit. What the fuck you got going? What is your problem? Get away from me. What's going on with you? I thought I made such a good impression. We had those ladies fooled. Just leave me alone, Glenn. I did exactly what you wanted. We're fucking women's feelings, bro. Like, women's feelings, bro. <laughs> it's just, it's, just it's, not, it's not crazy. It's not an enigma. It's not like, it's like, why is she feeling like that? Like, it's not like, it's like, I understand. I get it. I get why women feel the way that they feel but it's just fucking just i'm man it's like i don't i'm just gonna say it it's stupid sometimes it's stupid <laughs> it's just <laughs> not not every woman's feelings is stupid that's not what i mean that's not what i mean but lowest feelings right here when when people just in general when people do what she did and have the dumbest fucking feelings about it it's like you literally doing shit behind your partner's back with their friend. Then you get upset that he doesn't want to have sex with you or doesn't find sexual interest in you during that time because either A, you just wanted the validation or B, you actually want to screw him. You know what I'm saying? And you found out that this, you know what I'm saying? He's a better, he's a better guy than your husband. And that happens to be his friend. It just, it's just, it's just, I, type of, I don't know, man, whatever. Fuck. I didn't even come close. <sighs> That's the problem. You wanted me to? What? Well, I, I wanted you to try. See? I she wants to feel to wanted. Then I could shoot you down and feel sexually desirable and morally superior. But mm. you're both those things. That's it. Man, you say that now, but last night you were out boinking that waitress. Man, how do you think that made me feel, huh? Who you cares? make me feel like my best years are behind me. Who cares? That's not true at all. I didn't make a move on you because you're my best friend's wife. That, well, that is true. Besides, you know me. I'm not a one-gal guy. Last night I was with Jenna for only four hours, and I cheated on her with a woman who was fixing the ice machine. Hands <laughs> were a little cold, but we got there. I used okay. that ice. <laughs> Hopefully before 2.30 a.m. Look, if you wanted a <laughs> decent guy who's only been into you and only you, you should have brought Peter. You know what? You're right. 
I so what if he drinks too much? So what if he weighs too much? So what if he thinks Scrappy Doo is the better do? No, 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 no. One, that's wild. Scrappy Doo ain't the better do of shit. That Scrappy Doo ain't even better than Mountain Dew, bitch. He's a loyal husband and a good man. Oh, I should never have been embarrassed to bring him. And Whatever. I shouldn't need the attention of another man to feel sexy and young. That's right. This seemed like I would. You know, uh, can we send this episode to uh, uh, Steph Curry's wife, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause she needs to watch this hey, shit. Why don't we continue our discussion in the shower? A little wet a tit. <gasps> How dare you! And thank you. He just took one for the team. Shout out to Glenn. I think. I guess. I don't know, man. I, I really don't. All right, Lois is going to be home soon, so we got to fix this now. Why don't we just what? shove him in the sewer? Let the clowns have at him. I'm Suck. good with anything that keeps Pennywise off my jock. Sounds like a plan. What? <laughs> Hold on, Peter. This feels wrong. We can't just Here dump him go. face down into raw sewage without saying a few words. No, yes, you can, Brian. If you're going to allow that to happen, if you're not going to give this man the proper burial or you're not going to contact the authorities, then shut the fuck up. Shut up. You can say your fucking moments of silence when you get this nigga down there. You're right, Brian. I'll do How are you going to get this nigga down there? Pretty honest. <laughs> okay. It feels like just yesterday when he came into our lives carrying a pizza we bought. Okay. I always loved how he looked around the house a little too much while I was digging the money out of my wallet. And okay. who can forget his license plate number? 7G something something 5. Gotcha. More sweat than you're used to <laughs> seeing on a fella, but that's what moisture wicking shirts are for. Is this... A, okay, are you saying nice things or you, 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 you're talking shit about it? His nails were dirty, but his heart was pure. Okay. Okay, time to drop him in a river of dung. He's stuck. Oh, crap. Uh. It's Lois. Peter, what the hell is going on? You ordered pizza, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't care. I love you, Peter. Mm. And I have a confession for you. I went to my high school reunion this weekend, and I didn't invite you. What? Tell him the rest. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, it's... Well, <sighs> okay. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> I guess y'all. Y'all, that is the video for today, man. So look, man, do your boy a favor. Make sure you hit the like button, man. Go down below and subscribe to your boy, man. Hey, look, I just got to say, um, hey, you know, we all make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have a hole in my shirt. But that's not going to stop me. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to stop me. Uh, we all make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, one of the biggest things that I've learned over this period of time, um, being 29 years old, you know what I'm saying, is be honest. You know, be honest with people. Be honest with the people that you care about, especially, man, because at the end of the day, uh, I would rather um, hurt someone's feelings temporarily or... Um, tell them the truth and figure out how to work our way through the truth than to lie to them, man. Every t every point in my life where I lied to somebody that I cared about, not only did I make myself feel bad, but I also um, have have worsened the relationship between me and that person. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest, man. So me, me, me coming to this point in my life, you know, that's one of the biggest things that I try not to do. I don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Tell people the truth. Or don't say shit at all. You know what I'm saying? But don't lie about it. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that helps somebody out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. You know, it is what it is. But, hey, I just want to say, man, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video.